In this video, we're going to look at hydrophobic interactions. Hydrophobic interactions are non-covalent interactions that occur when carbon atoms are near each other. To find examples of hydrophobic interactions, I begin by showing all the amino acid side chains and coloring by hydrophobicity. I can see from the color key that hydrophilic amino acids are colored light blue and dark blue, and the others are all hydrophobic, gray, gold, and brown. Any carbon atoms can form hydrophobic interactions, but to make things easier for myself, I'm going to select the hydrophobic amino acids. I open up the select menu, and I touch the select pattern box, and I type in, one by one, the one-letter codes for hydrophobic amino acids, like tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine, leucine, glycine, isoleucine, cysteines, any kind of amino acid that's hydrophobic. Once I have a few of these hydrophobic amino acids that are selected, I can hide the other amino acids and look at these a little bit more clearly. I turn these around, I can see it looks like there are atoms that might be interacting with each other, but I can't tell what they are. So I'm going to need to open up my menu and change the coloring style to elements so I can see where the carbons are. And I can see that it does look like there are a few cases where carbons are near each other, showing me potential hydrophobic interactions. I turn this around till I pick some cases that I like. Then I deselect the other amino acids by touching them one by one, and I hide them. Now that I have two I like, I'm going to zoom in and focus on them a little bit more, and I can see, indeed, there are carbon atoms that are close by. Right there is a hydrophobic interaction between the carbons. Now I want to know what they are. So I touch the names that are highlighted in the sequence viewer to see what, the, what these amino acids are. And I see we have tryptophan 25 and valine 35. 